today on Beach House Sport, we are here back again for another Queensland Cup video. So many of you last week said go to this game. I haven't even said this game yet, obviously you've seen the title. The winner Manly Seagulls versus Northern Pride match. I couldn't believe it when I saw so many of you comments. I didn't know how it would go with the Queensland Cup, obviously. I wasn't quite sure. The Queensland Cup is the second best competition in the world. Honestly, an incredible competition. We are down here at BMD Cougarai Oval in Wynnum, and I'm pretty sure this is going to be a pretty quality match because the Seagulls, the home team, who we're going for today, look how good this, this, this jumper is just so nice, man. It's so nice. Oh, look at this. You know, it just feels like you know, it's a cold night, all right? <laughs> it is quite a cold night. Got my chackies on, got my shoes on. Well, last time, last time we had our broken thongs, all right? So I had to wear shoes this time. I had to wear shoes this time. I'm never wearing thongs again. I'm never wearing thongs to a game again. Just before we preview the game, I just want to say I absolutely love coming to Queensland Cup games and being able to come onto the field for, middle, and after the game, man. It's just such a surreal experience. Like, you get to feel like the players. And obviously, as you can see, there are people kicking the ball around here, the ball coming at us right now. That's what you're gonna do when you're in the middle, like we're dead set on the 50 meter line, you gotta be careful of all the balls. Like, there's so many balls coming at us right now, there's little kids playing over there. It's just an awesome feeling, you know what I mean? It's just an awesome feeling. That's why you guys have gotta get out there and support your local footy. These guys, like I said multiple times, are the up and comers. There are players here who play for the Broncos here. There are players here who've played all over the world. There's a player who's actually injured right now, Dobbo, who used to play for England in England, Super League, you know, and he's actually not playing tonight, unfortunately. He is uh, injured, like I said. But let's talk a little bit about the game today. Winning Melly Seagulls, they are currently 12, and the Northern Pride, they're currently fifth. So, a little bit of a contrast, but anything can happen. You know, anything can happen. It's getting to the business end of the season, and you start to see teams make a, make a real run of it, you know what I mean? They're making a real run towards the top of the table, towards the finals. I don't know. Seagulls could get to top of the table, but I definitely still give them a chance at making the finals. Very vocal supporters over there in the Chook Pen, obviously. If you guys haven't heard of the Chook Pen, very, very vocal supporters, man, I tell you. They, that's where we're probably gonna go stand today. They've been very up and down the gullies this year. They've been very up and down, and unfortunately they're down at the moment, but they've had a really good couple of weeks. The last couple of weeks they've been getting a few wins. They had a good win last week over the Ipswich Jets, which was 30 to 24, and you know, that's just a po really positive result coming towards the business end of the season. We're just gonna have some fun, like we always do. We always have a bit of fun on Beak House Sports. So if you guys haven't subscribed yet, go and hit that subscribe button below and a little ding-a-ling-a-ling -a -ling notification bell because we're going to have a raucous time as in Queensland Cup footy. It reminds me of like, oh, I haven't been to a championship game in England yet, but it lo looks like, you know, an English champion Champions League champion, Champions League. It reminds me of an English championship round. You know what I mean? And it's just awesome. That's where the atmosphere comes from. That's exactly what you're looking for. Obviously, it's no Suncorp, it's no Seabus, it's no ANZ, it's no MCG, but it's just got that really cool atmospheric feeling where you're just really close to the ground. Obviously, we're on the ground where the boys are about to start playing and I think we're getting told to get off. So uh, let's head off, let's have a good time. Come on boys, up the gullies. <laughs> We start filming, they've already scored, man. <laughs> we never just scored right underneath the post. I was running to go over here to get some game footage. Seagulls, what a start! What an absolute start for the Seagulls. What are you talking about, you idiots? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good old chick, man. Love it. Good old chick, man. <laughs> Some guys going over there, there's some guys going over there, there's some guys going over there, and it's all over the place. Alright, right, winning attacking here. 20 minutes gone, and there's nothing that could say that this team is in 12th position. Like, if I, if I didn't know this team was in 12th, there's no way I'd be saying that. They're playing really well. Nice word for winning. Oh, that's good for winning, but uh, Northern Pride really aren't playing like a fifth place team. It's funny. Winning are playing like a fifth place team, and Northern Pride are currently playing like a 12th place team. Now, they're both quality teams, but. Uh, it's just, it's just funny how the ladder, you know, it doesn't reflect how, how the game's going so far. Come on, Gullies! Oh, yo, big hit! Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo! -hoo -hoo! Oh, gee whiz, what a hit, son. What a hit. That was a banging hit, man. That was a banging hit. Keep it up. Keep the scoreless first half. Hold him out. Put him out, put him out, put him out. Put him out! Put him out! Yes! 
That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Decent, 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 yeah! We're gonna ask the seagull to kick it for a thousand dollars. We'll soon see. Just to let everyone know, the seagull who will be kicking, certainly no slouch. We've got Sean Nona here to take the kick should Kathy decide that she doesn't want to all right, so we are here at half time and we've got a big competition going on right now. We've got a kick for $2,000. I have to choose him for $1,000. There you go, Chukemi. Well done. Yes, yes. All right, so she's chosen Sean Nona of the Seagulls. So basically, if Sean Nona gets the kick, she gets $1,000 instead of the $2,000, which is still a bloody hefty amount of money right there. I'm going to go crazy if she gets it. Let's move over. Let's move out of the way. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, it's in front. <laughs> He's a kicker, come on. Oh, he's a kicker. He's up. For Kathy. Oh, come on, for Kathy. Oh, Get the kick. Get the kick. Get the kick. Oh, oh no! No! no. Just, missed Just missed it. But it's okay. You've got a second chance. Can you take my second chance? No, no. So 20 meters out, okay. Can you do it, Kathy? Give yeah. It a go. Absolutely. Yes. That's what we like yes, you can do it. I've got the confidence. What are you thinking, mate? What are you thinking? You reckon just going to get it? Yeah, I reckon she'll get it. I'm confident. Yeah, boy, that's what I'm talking about. Come on. No. It went through the middle. <laughs> Guys, if you want a chance to win the next one, it's gone up to $3,000 now, and that's against the Townsville Blackhawks, which will be a ripper game. So you guys need to get down here for that one. Half time, and it is 16 0 to the Seagulls. I'm here with a legend player for the Seagulls, mate. Gobbo. Hey, what do you reckon about the game so far? Yeah, they've been really good, mate. Uh, they've had a really good first half. They're the best first half we've played this year. Uh, really dug in defensively, and uh, let's hope we can kick on in the second half. 100%. How are you feeling? Obviously, you're injured at the moment. What do you, yeah. what do you reckon? Uh, how, how long until you get back? Hopefully, yeah, maybe the Tweed game uh, as after scope what we need. So, hopefully, we'll move a bit better on the field. Um, yeah, once we get back. So, yeah, but whatever they're playing like this, mate, they don't need me out there. So, uh, mate, they're going really well. We we'll get this win tonight. I'll be three in a row, so exactly. touch wood they can um, kick on in the second half and push into the Do you reckon there's obviously a push for the finals coming? Like three three wins in a row, there, it is quite low, like old place. Do you think they can still make the finals? Oh, 100%. If you look at our games this year, I've been in a couple of games where we've got play and play on the field. Uh, we've, we've always been winning at half time or, uh, in, in the contest right up to the last 10 minutes. So, um, yeah, we can beat any team on our day. So, it's just a matter of stringing those wins together a lot. We are at the moment. Sneak a little yeah. kick through Ooh, the defence, man. The def oh. oh, wait, no. I think I scored. Oh, they did score. Oh, that's. Um, I just scored. <laughs> Obviously, the field, it's all down the other end of the field, so I couldn't really see it, but uh, I thought they defended nicely and then a little dink through and. Prize score within the first two minutes of the uh, <laughs> prize score within the first two minutes of the half. Not, not ideal. Not ideal. Not even six minutes into the. Uh, not even six minutes in the second half, and the Pride have already scored again. So the game is right back on. It's going to be 16 10 with 34 minutes to go. Man, I'm looking good. You know, they're leading pretty well going into the uh, going into half time, the goals, and now they've let it right back into it. So the game's right back on, unfortunately. But you had to expect that, to be honest. You had, you really had to expect that. Hey! He's lost that, yes! Come on, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Fire out, knock on. How are goals? Ramped up atmosphere now, son. Ramped up atmosphere. <laughs> Oh, defense boys, come on. Oh, there's gaps everywhere here. There's gaps everywhere here. There's gaps everywhere. Oh, there's gaps everywhere. So. Gaps everywhere, man. There was gaps everywhere. You can see it coming a mile away. You can see it coming a mile away. So they're still down by two. 16 14 with uh, 24 minutes to go. Kicks from out wide, so I don't know if there's going to be an equalizer, but at least it's made a good game. But in the same sense, the pride are just absolutely flowing right now. They are firing. No, oh, oh, they're away. No, no, no. There's a try. Pride. Pride have just gone up. Oh, man. This second half has been not ideal. This second half has just been an absolute blowout so far. There's still 17 minutes to go, to be fair. But it's about to be 22 16 to the Pride after being down 16 0 at half time. The space! The space! Yes! Come on! Get in here! Oh, it's a penalty! They've called a penalty! They called a penalty! 
They called a penalty. Yeah! They called a penalty. They're saying he ran behind the man. Wow. That was right underneath the post. So that's a big call, ref. That's a big call, ref. That could have just changed this entire game. Obviously, we don't get. Obviously, we don't get to see replays here, but uh, that's rough. That's rough. Go in the space here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go on. Go on. No. He's kicked it through. Oh man, he kicked it straight to the opposition. He kicked it straight to the opposition. You're kidding. You're kidding. Big hit right there. Man, they've been throwing away the opportunity to win this game with them. Or at least equalise. Full time here, and unfortunately, Wyndham have gone down 22 16 in the Pride. I'm here with Mitch Cronin, obviously, play for the uh, play for Wyndham. And uh, 50th game tonight, unfortunate loss, but you know, 50th game, you know, you've got to be happy about that. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a privilege to play at this club. Um, unfortunately, we didn't you know, finish it off tonight. We started well, but just couldn't get it at the end. But um, hopefully, we can improve from it. Come back after bye. You've just made, made the resident side for the third year in a row. How's that feel? Um, yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a surprise, but um, yeah, I can't wait going to go into camp tomorrow and um, play down there for the Origin, so it should be a good experience. Yeah, awesome, man. And obviously, unfortunately, it's a loss, but do you reckon you can still make the finals? Uh, yeah, we're, st we're still within um, with a shot of it. Um, I think we're good enough to, to get there, but it's just that second half that's letting us down. But um, yeah, I think we can improve and hopefully make run for it. Bella, mate, what do you reckon of that one? Um, yeah, well, um, the first time we kind of made it hard to ourselves. Um, went in the dressing room, Ty gave us a good hiding, and we start to come out the second half, and we got him. Exactly. You've obviously a massive comeback to, to keep them to nil in the second half, and it's got 22 points. Like, that's just wild, man. That's just wild. How's that feeling going into the rest of the season? Obviously, you guys are fit. Oh, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Um, so, we see how we're going. Uh, boys are dug in deep, and... Yeah. You reckon you reckon finals chance? Like do you guys think you got a really solid chance of winning this year? Oh, yeah. We're close to but um, there's a couple of stuff that we need to work on to yeah. be on top of this. Uh, Sorry, so I'm walking out to uh, I'm walking out to the middle field to do an outro and I've just seen the time, it's nine o'clock, so that means the Australia vs France game has been on for an hour. I've turned off my Wi-Fi, I've put on my phone on airplane mode, I'm gonna drive all the way back from now, win them back to the Gold Coast, and then we're gonna re record that game, but I'm so nervous, man. Like, I want a game today though. Like, let's be honest, what a game. Obviously today's game was unfortunately a loss. Big, big comeback from the Northern Pride though. It was a really good game. And I've talked to a few people who watched the replay on the TV or, or watched the replay somewhere and they said that that call was actually pretty wrong. They, 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 I, I saw obviously I wasn't going to put it in. I'm, I wasn't going to put it in, I'm not going to put it in. But a lot of the winning fans were very angry at the refs at the end of the game. <laughs> the winning fans were very, very angry. They were not very impressed. I'm having an absolute ball coming down to these QR games. I love it, man. You know, it's just the atmosphere is just wild. Like, and the players, the quality is quality. The quality is quality. The quality is quality. Love it. <laughs> and the game was just quality, man. Like, North Devils versus Redcliffe Dolphins last week. That was a ripper game. Winning Manly Seagulls versus Northern Pride, that was a ripper game. Like, it's just, you just get that really cool atmospheric feeling. And you guys have got to get down to your local team. Go and comment below if you want me to go to any specific games because obviously a lot of you said to come to this game tonight and it was a good game. So, would love to see who you guys want me to go out and, uh, and get, get some game footage for because I absolutely love it. If you haven't subscribed yet, guys, make go and hit the subscribe button below and then go and hit the little ding a ling a ling notification bell so you get a notification every time we upload. Today, you guys have already probably seen the video Australia vs France go and check that one out anyway guys thanks for watching catch you later